My name is Bert Vogelstein, and this approval by the FDA is gratifying for uh, the team members that discovered that IDH1 mutations were quite common in certain kinds of brain tumors back in 2008. This represented a, a first of many kinds. It was the first time that a new gene that had not been suspected to be involved in tumor genesis was discovered through an unbiased approach in which every one of the 20,000 genes in the human genome were sequenced. Way back then, in 2008, it became, in a sense, the poster child for this new mode of gene discovery, just looking at every gene, sequencing every gene in a series of tumors and trying to find new ones that were mutated and in part responsible for the tumors. The second novel aspect was that brain tumors often have a very poor prognosis and it was critical to discover genes that are responsible for this tumor. An unexpected discovery like this was therefore quite meaningful. The third important aspect was that the gene encoded an enzyme. Because it's an enzyme, because it encodes a protein that has a well-defined activity, one can envision pharmaceutical ways to target that mutant protein and potentially impact the growth of the tumor. This approval by the FDA demonstrates the realization of that potential. This drug inhibits the mutant enzyme, but not the wild-type enzyme, and therefore can substantially slow the growth of tumors which obviously is very good news for the many patients who are afflicted with this disease.